Hello, hope you're doing great. Reza here. Welcome to another tutorial. This one is about missions. A mission defines a set of steps that are executed by a resource in this specific order. When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the download files option appears, you can download the example files. Missions exist to help us define a proper task flow or give a task list to our resources. The resource can be a human worker, a mobile robot, or a vehicle. Before you use missions, you need to have your process modeling layout working. So if I press play here, you see that mobile robot starts to go around. I am on the process tab and we have product types, we have processes, and we have the product flow defined. Only after this, I am able to go to PM Navigations folder, grab a missions controller, put that here. That's how it looks like. And then connect it with an interface to this controller so that it would give the task list. I go to the right side to the missions tab and you see I have one mission right now. You can add multiple missions, duplicate one, delete the mission and then the activator can be scheduled so it goes based on a specific schedule starting time and then the recurring interval of this instance of mission and then how many times it should happen it could be also a repeated mission or then it could be a triggered mission so it will be triggered whenever a signal comes from a component and then the tasks the step type defines the tasks. This property has these steps. Call a mission, charge a resource, collect something, make the resource deliver something, move the resource somewhere, move the joint of some robot or any component that has joints, run a robot program from here, send the signal from this mission, wait make the resource delay a process, wait to receive a signal, and then work on a task. This is equal to work statement in process modeling. So if you have a resource that should do some work, you need to define this step also in your missions. If I press play over here, we have two components that are delivered using this mobile robot on a one-way path. So mobile robot picks up the first one, then the second one, and then the delivery points. But over here, if we wait a little bit, I've intentionally put this one red so that there will be some QC over here, some quality control by another resource. But look over here. Now the robot skipped the first part because the request for this one came earlier than this one, and then it comes a second round to pick up this first and then delivers the parts over there. That's a problem, but mission can solve this. Right now, what I'm trying to do is to find the controller. So there is a component called mission controller. It's under PM navigation. For this tutorial, you need to have visual components 4.7 or higher. I'm going to drag and drop this missions controller over here. Let's put it next to the controller for mobile robot. And if I go to home tab, interfaces, and I'm going to connect the missions controller through an interface with a mobile robot controller. Then what I would do next is defining my missions so right now if i press play nothing happens but why because there are no steps defined in our mission the mission controller when you select it you'll see it in the default tab there are no specific properties here just this diameter which is 500 but then under missions tab we see that there is already mission hashtag one. We could create multiple instances of missions. 
but here I'm going to use the steps. So in step one, I want to move my boba robot and take it where? I want to take it over here. So I want a mobile robot to go over there and wait into the resource location frame and align it to that target. Then in the second step, I would like to collect a part. And the part is from a specific transport node. Let me select the component first. So it's this component. And then from conveyor process. Another collect now. I would also like to collect the part from the second part. And then that's from conveyor process hashtag two. And then in the next step, I would say deliver to a specific transport node, obviously, and deliver over here. Then to conveyor process transport node. And then another delivery. So now the list should be complete. Let me reduce the speed and press play and see what we have. So mobile robot went there and it's waiting. The part is delivered, then the second part. Of course, the first round also was okay previously, but I am interested in the second round. Okay, please deliver these, Mr. Mobile Robot. We want to see what you do next. Now, moment of truth. Delivery is done, but nothing happens. Why? If I press reset and I check the properties of my missions, I see that the recurring is not check marked so it's not a recurring type of mission but now it is so i'm gonna make it to recur there is also maybe to see it better recurring interval so let's go with 200 or maybe every 100 seconds press play once more let me speed up the simulation. And now we have the second round. Beautiful. So pick up the first one, then pick up the second one, and rest of the story. If I press reset, now what I'm going to do is to put a very long interval over here. So. I'm going to put, right now is 20 seconds, but I'm going to make it 2 minutes. Press play. The first part comes. Second part. And when we receive the second mission request, the robot comes here and is waiting for the part until it arrives. And then second part and rest of the story now if i check this side of my layout when i press play our resource goes to the idle point but i want her to be waiting over here so as you saw already what i'm gonna do is to bring a mission controller then i'm gonna connect it using the interfaces here to this controller turn off the interfaces now she won't do anything anymore because the mission controller took over but right now there are no missions if i go to the missions you see that there is nothing there and when the mobile robot delivers the part nothing happens just because that she has no missions or task list I'm gonna give her a task list, don't worry. So step one, move there. Where? To this process. And then the frame, resource, and align the target. And then, what do I have inside that process? Let me show you. So 
QC process, quality control. Here I have transport in the part and then work for 10 seconds. Then I'm changing the node material to green, meaning that the quality control is done. Transport out. So missions still requires a task flow similar to what is inside the process. So I am missing this task, which is working. I mean, the name of the task is working. So I'm going to go to the task. And it's basically a step. So I'm going to add another step after the move and say that work, please. And then specific transport node, it could be. It could be also just QC, the name of the process over here, and then press play. So she already went there. Now this is the difference. She didn't go to the idle point. She went there and is waiting for the part to arrive. So the red part arrives. And then when it arrives, our resource gets to work. And now she's waiting over there because there is no mission executed. And again, if I show you over here, this is not a recurring mission. So there are three type of activator. One is a schedule. This is the one I use for the mobile robot as well. You can also put a repeated type of missions. So it will repeat in some recurrence based on the properties that you define. Delay between each. If I put zero, there is no delay. So when one mission is done, the second one is called immediately. I can put, for example, here 20 seconds delay between each mission for the human resource. And there was the other option also triggered. You can also send the signal to the human to start working. So set a signal inside your process or somewhere in the layout and then trigger this mission when the signal arrives. Right now I just leave it unrepeated and then I press play, increase the speed. She goes there over like 20 seconds and then she comes back ready for work. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you about how to work with missions. Have a great simulation time and bye for now.